Welcome back guys. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Jamie. I'm a senior software engineer. I'm going to be going over the software design patterns that you should be knowing that you probably already see, but you don't even know their actual patterns that exist. So today we're going to talk about what the template method design pattern is and why is it used. So the template design matter uh, design pattern. Sorry about that. That was an airplane passing by. Um, so a template method design pattern is used to define an algorithm as a skeleton of operations and leave the details to be implemented by the child classes. So what exactly does that mean? So let's just say you have a, some sort of, uh, object, let's call it a, I don't know, a television, right? Now this television has some very, very basic stuff. So that's what we're calling the skeleton. So what we want to do is we want to define the basic stuff inside of some abstract class. And then whenever we create a new class, we can inherit from that abstraction. OK, so this is used very, very often on the field. And we're going to go over how it's done uh, right now. So we'll start by creating an abstract class here. We're going to call it television. And in this abstract television class, we know that a television has a functionality that can power on the television. So we're just going to return a string. We're just going to say powering on. OK, and then we also know that it has a power off functionality. So same thing, we're going to say powering off. And then a TV can also have the channels go up and down, right? So let's just say channel up. And then we can also do the channel down functionality. Okay, great. So in this television class, we're also going to have some sort of properties, right? Because we know that all televisions have like different kinds of dimensions, different sizes and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an abstract properties. And that for now, we're just going to let it be a type of any since we're not talking about uh, interfaces in this particular tutorial. But that alone right here, uh, if you review the class, this is the very, very basic skeleton of a television, what it is and, you know, the things you can actually do with it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new class and let's just call it, I don't know, Samsung, right? And here we're going to extend our television abstract class. And by us extending this television abstract class, now we're just going to say properties. And then we're going to assign it some properties like a width maybe. So maybe this TV is a 48 inch TV. Okay. And then maybe the height is also 48 inches. But that alone allowed us to actually create a brand new television. So we just created a Samsung television and it's a very, very simple, easy to read class. Okay. So if we wanted to create another one, we can just literally copy and paste this, change the name to let's say Vizio, and then we can change the dimension. So let's say this is a 28 inch TV. And now if we want to use one of these classes, all we have to do is say const TV equals new, and then let's just call it Samsung. So now we have a brand new Samsung TV. So let's just do, uh, I don't know, console.log, and then we're just going to say TV.PowerOn. So we're turning on the TV, okay? So if we run this, what's going to happen is you get powering on. Why? Because this Samsung class inherited from this television abstraction. So this function is being called from the Samsung class. So what this means is let's just say we wanted to, I don't know, change the channel. So now we want to do channel up, for example, we can do that and it outputs channel up. But now let's say we wanted to see the properties and we want to see the width of the TV. So if we run this, we get 48 inches because the properties width, which is the small details that are defined inside of this class 
uh, are here. It doesn't come from the television abstraction. So basically, in a nutshell, this is what the uh, template method design pattern does. So if we wanted to swap out from Samsung, Samsung to Vizio, we could very easily do that. And now if we run this, we get a width of 28 inches because now it's referencing this class, but it's the same abstraction of television. So there you go, guys. You have the template method design pattern how to use it, and hopefully this was very helpful to you guys. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit me with a like, comment below, subscribe, and hit that bell for more notifications on when I create another video. I'll be continuing to create uh, software design pattern videos here. So make sure you stay tuned for the next uh, software design pattern video. Thanks for watching, guys.